Hello mga KJTV! In this video lesson, we will discuss about solving problems involving radicals. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to solve problems involving radicals. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe at pindutin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga i-upload kong mga video lessons. Pindutin din ang like button sa ibaba kung nakatulong itong video lesson sa iyo. So, let's begin. So, problem number one. Uh, so, ito yung mga example ng mga uh, problems na uh, na-apply din natin yung or nasasolve natin yung about radicals. Okay? So, a boy bikes 9 meters to the east going to school and then bikes 5 meters northward going to the church. How far is he from the starting point which is his house? Okay, sa mga ganitong worded problem, kailangan muna nating i-illustrate or i-draw yung mismong problem. Para ma-visualize natin kung ano ba talaga yung kinukuha natin or sinasagutan natin. And para malaman natin kung ano ba yung equation or formula na gagamitin natin. So dito mayroon tayong house, yung boy, yung school, at saka yung church. So sabi dyan, yung boy daw, nagbike siya ng 9 meters papuntang east going to school. And then, bikes 5 meters northward going to the church. So, after niya sa school, nagbike naman siya ng 5 meters papuntang church northward daw. And then, yung tanong dito is, gaano siya kalayo ngayon magmula dun sa bahay niya? So, ito yung um, pinapahanap mo yun. From his house to church, gaano daw siya kalayo? Ngayon, nakapag-form tayo ng isang right triangle dito. So, di ba kapag right triangle, um, para makuha yung uh, missing side dyan, is gagamitin natin siya ng uh, equation or formula na Pythagorean theorem. Okay? So, meron kasi tayong parang, uh, meron tayong sides nito ng right triangle na ito. We have 9 meters, 5 meters, at itong uh, longest side niya, which is hypotenuse, ito yung hinahanap natin. Okay? So, apply natin si Pythagorean Theorem para mahanap itong missing side na ito. So, ito yung distance from home to church. Okay? So, solve natin. The solution, we let A equals 9 meters and B equals 5 meters. Okay lang maging, uh, okay lang si A na maging 5 meters uh, given na dapat si B noon ay 9 meters. So, pwede sila magkabaligtad, no? Kung si A ay 9, si B ay 5. Kung si A ay 5, si B ay 9. Okay? So, apply natin yung Pythagorean Theorem. C square equals A square plus B square. So, anong hinahanap natin dito? C, C, ba? Diba? Ito, itong longest side natin, yung hypotenuse. So, ang hanapin lang natin kasi ay si C. So, kailangan tanggalin natin si square niya. So, para ma magawa yun, I-square root natin both sides. And then, makakancel na yung uh, radical at yung exponent na 2 dyan. So, makuha natin ay C equals square root of A square plus B square. And then, substitute lang natin yung mga values ng A at B. Si A ay 9. So, nandito 9. Si B ay 5. Kaya, 5 yun nandito. And then, simplify lang natin yan. 9 square, 9 times 9, that is 8 to 1. And 5 square or 5 times 5, that is 25. And then, add lang natin yan. Makuha natin ay 106. So, yung um, distance between uh, the house of the boy at yung church is square root of 106 meters. Kung ikakalculator natin yan, square root of 106 is approximately equal to 10.3 meters. And checking, para ma-check natin, gamit yung Pythagorean Theorem, isasubstitute lahat natin yung mga values ng A, B, C dyan sa Pythagorean Theorem na yan. So, si C, nakuha natin value kay C ay C, um, square root of 106. So, hindi natin isa-substitute to kasi hindi siya talaga eksakto. So, ang gagamitin lang natin is square root of 106. So, square root of 106, tapos yung A ay 9, si B ay 5. So, simplify natin. Um, ito, makakancel lang yung radicals niya, di ba? Kasi naka-square siya. And 9 squared, that is 8 to 1. 5 squared, that is 25. And 8 to 1 plus 25, 
that is 106. So, equals na. 106 equals 106. Pero yung problem dito na nasagot natin, di ba? Na yung distance nung house at yung uh, church, kung nasaan ngayon yung uh, batang lalaki na nagbike is square root of 106 meters. Next problem, a kite is secured to the rope that is tied to the ground. A breeze blows the kite and seen directly above a flagpole that is 30 feet from where the rope is tied. Find the height of the height, uh, the height of the kite if the rope is 110 feet long. Again, ito drawing muna natin or illustrate natin yung mismo problem para malaman natin kung ano yung uh, gagamit natin equation or formula. So, meron tayong kite, meron tayong rope na nakatali sa ground. And, um, a breeze blows the kite. So, lumilipad ngayon yung kite. And, nakita natin yung kite directly above a flagpole. And then, yung flagpole daw na ito ay 30 feet away from the rope where it is tied. So, ito. Magmula dito hanggang dito sa flagpole natin, um, 30 feet daw yung distance niyan. And then, yung question ngayon is find the height of the kite if the rope is 110 feet long. Yung hinahanap natin dito ay yung height ng kite magmula dun sa ground. So, yan yung hinahanap natin. And given yung uh, haba nung rope natin, 110 feet. So, dito, um, makikita natin na nakapag-form tayo ulit ng isang right triangle. So, ang gagamitin natin ulit dito ay Pythagorean Theorem. So, dito, given naman yung uh, hypotenuse at ang hinanap natin ay yung isang leg. So, solve natin. So, solution, we let A equals 30 feet and C equals 110 feet. Okay lang din kung lalagay natin dito ay B. So, kung B ito, ang yung A naman ay yung magiging height ng kite. Kung ito ay A naman, B naman yung magiging height ng kite. So, dito sa example natin, ginawa kong uh, nirepresent ko si 30 feet as A. So, yung hahanapin natin dito ay yung B. So, given yung Pythagorean theorem, C square equals A square plus B square, ang hinahanap natin ay yung value ng B. So, kailangan natin isolate si B sa isang side. So, para magawa yun, tatanggalin ko si A square sa right side. Ililipat ko siya sa left side. So, magiging siyang negative A square. And then, tatanggalin ko itong square ni B. So, we square natin both side. So, maka-cancel na yung um, exponent ni B. So, matitinan lang si B dito. And then, substitute lang natin yung mga given values sa C at A. Okay? So, pwede, pwede natin i-write din yan as B equals square root of C square minus A square. Parehas lang yan. So, substitute natin yung mga given values. Si, si C ay 110 uh, feet. So, 110 yung nilagay ko dito. At si A naman ay 30 feet. Kaya nilagay ko dito ay 30. So, pinatun ko si C ng 110 at si A ng 30. And then, simplify lang natin. 110 square, that is 12,100. 110 times 110, that is 12,100. And 30 times 30 or 30 square, that is 900. And then, subtract lang natin. Makuha natin ay square root of 11,000 200 feet. So, itong B na ito, ito yung, itong square root of 11,200 feet, ito yung height nung kite from the ground. Ito yung taas nung kite natin. Or, pwede din natin yung calculator. So, square root of 11,200, that is approximately 105.8 feet. So, yan, yan yung height nung kite from the ground. So, checking, Gamit yung Pythagorean Theorem ulit, isasubstitute natin yung mga nakuha nating values. So, si C ay 110, si A ay 30, at yung nakuha nating value ng B ay square root of 11,200. So, ito yung sasubstitute natin kasi ito yung eksakto. Ito kasi hindi siya eksakto. May mga decimals pa siya dyan. Okay? And then, simplify. 110 squared, that's 12,100. 30 squared, that's 900. And yung square ng square root of 11,200 is simply 11,200. So, cancel lang yung radical. And then, add natin yan, 900 plus 11,200, that is 12,100. Okay? So, equal sila. So, again, 
yung height ng kite from the ground is square of 11,200 feet or approximately 105.8. Next problem, a rectangular tile has a perimeter of 24 inches with a width of 4 inches and a length of square root of x plus 2 inches. Find x and the length. So again, illustrate mo na natin, drawing mo na natin yung problem. So we have tile here, and sabi niya may perimeter daw yan na 24 inches. So yung tinatawag natin perimeter dito, ito yung total length ng mga sides ng isang uh, rectangle. So, ito plus ito plus ito plus itong uh, length ng sides na yan ay uh, yan yung tinatawag nating perimeter. Yung total length ng mga sides niya. So, sabi niya dyan 24 inches daw yan kapag pinag-add-add natin yung mga sides na yan. So, sabi niya rin yung width daw ay 4 inches at yung length daw ay square root of x plus 2 inches. So, dun sa definition na rectang rectangle, o pair of opposite sides are congruent or equal. So, yung pairs daw ng opposite uh, sides ng um, rectangle ay congruent. So, kung 4 inches itong nasa right side, 4 inches din itong nasa left side. Kung square root of x plus 2 itong nasa ilalim, yung opposite side niya ay square root of x plus 2 inches din yung haba. So, dito, ang gagamitin natin equation or formula is yung perimeter of a rectangle. So, uh, simply, ia-add lang natin lahat ng sides. So, dito yung equation natin ay P equals 2L plus 2W or 2 length plus 2 width. So, mumultiply lang natin ng 2 yung length na x, uh, square root of x plus 2 plus yung width natin na 4 inches. So, mumultiply lang natin yung 2. Then, add natin uh, yung Um, haba ng dalawa. So, makuha na natin yung perimeter. Okay? So, parang ano lang yan. Um, length plus length plus width plus width. Kaso, sinimpli, uh, sinimplify na lang. Kaya, ginawa na lang 2 length plus 2 width. So, sagutan natin. Solution. Uh, first na gagawin natin is to find x. Para mahanap na kasi natin kung ano balik talaga yung length natin. Uh, is kailangan mahanap muna natin si x. So, we let L equals square root of x plus 2 inches. Yung width natin, w, 4, 4 inches. And yung perimeter natin ay 24 inches. Okay? Ang hinahanap natin muna natin dito ay yung value ng x. Pag nahanap natin na natin yung value ng x, mahanap na natin yung length. So, given yung perimeter equation or formula, isa-substitute lang natin lahat ng values na yan. So, si P, si perimeter ay 24. Uh, ito naman, yung L natin ay square root of x plus 2 at si W ay 4. So, simplify lang natin. 2 times 4, that is 8. And then, transpose natin si 8 sa left side, kaya meron tayong minus 8 dito. So, 24 minus 8, that is 16. And, um, pwede natin makancel si 2 dito sa right side by dividing both sides of the equation by 2. So, makakancel na ito and then 16 divided by 2 that is 8. So, we have 8 equals square root of x plus 2. And then, para ma-eliminate yung radical natin, pwede natin square both sides. Okay? So, we have 8 square equals quantity square root of x plus 2 square. Makakancel na ngayon ito. Makuha natin ay 64 equals x plus 2 na wala yung radical And yung 8 square or 8 times 8, that is 64. And then, transpose natin si 2 sa left side. So, we have 64 minus 2 equals x. And 64 minus 2, that is 62. So, yung value ng x natin dito ay 62. So, hindi pa ito yung length. Ito pa lang yung value ng x natin. So, so para makuha yung length natin, isa-substitute natin tong x na nakuha natin na 62 dito sa square root of x plus 2. Ito yung length natin, di ba? So, papalitan lang natin si x ng 62. So, ito, uh, palitan natin si x ng 62, and 62 plus 2, that is 64, and square root of 64, that is 8 inches. So, yung length natin dito ay 8 inches. Kung 8 yung itong length na ito, 
plus 8, that is 16, plus 4, that's 20, plus yung uh, nasa left side na width, that is 24 inches. So, in, in total, 24 inches ito, yung perimeter niya. So, 8 plus 4 plus 8 plus 4, that is 24. Last problem, the square root of the sum of two consecutive integers is 5. Find the bigger number. So, dito, kailangan lang natin mag uh, translate ng uh, statement into mathematical statement. So, dito, the square root daw ng sum ng dalawang consecutive integers. Kapag sinabi natin consecutive, magkasunod. Okay? Yung mga integers, diba? Ito yung uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. 0, negative 1, negative 2, etc. So, yung sum daw ng uh, dalawang integers na yon ay 5. So, kailangan natin i-convert yan into mathematical statement. So, in question is, find the bigger number. Okay, so, we let x, so, mag tayo ng variable, we let x be the smaller number. And, yung magiging bigger number natin, or bigger integer natin, ay x plus 1. Diba? mag lang tayo ng 1. Kasi, ang sinasabi dito ay consecutive, magkasunod. Okay? So, hindi natin alam kung ano number yan. Pero, mamaya, ma malalaman natin kung ano ba yung number na yan by solving. So, ito yung mabubuo nating mathematical statement yan. Sabi niya kasi, the square root. So, mayroon tayong square root. Uh, square root nung sum. Ibig sabihin, nag-add tayo ng dalawang consecutive integers. At itong two consecutive integers na ito, ito yung inassign natin na smaller number at itong bigger number. Itong x at itong x plus 1. So, bakit siya naging x plus 1? Kasi nga, consecutive uh, integers sila. So, ang gagawin lang natin, add lang natin ito, itong smaller number x, ito siya, plus yung bigger number natin na x plus 1 or yung bigger integer. So, andito siya, x plus 1 and then equals, kasi sabi niya dito, is. Kapag nakakita kayo ng is na ganyan, that is equal. So, is equal to 5. Kaya, equal to 5 yan dyan. And then, simplify lang natin. So, uh, similar, ano to, similar terms, x tsaka x, pwede natin add yan. 1 plus 1, that is 2x plus 1. Ito. So, itong x plus x, that is 2x. Then, copy lang natin itong plus 1 dito. So, equals 5. And then, square natin both side para makancel itong radical dito. So, square natin to At the same time, square din natin yung nasa right side na 5. So, simplify. Matatanggal na yung si radical dito sa left side. That is 2x plus 1. And 5 square or 5 times 5, that is 25. And then, transpose natin si 1 sa right side. So, we had 2x equals 25 minus 1. 25 minus 1, that's 24. And ang kailangan lang natin dito ay yung value ng x. So, kailangan natin ma-eliminate si 2 sa left side. So, ang gagawin natin, we will divide both sides of the equation by 2. So, makakancel na ito. And 24 divided by 2, that is 12. So, we have the value of x which is 12. Pero, hindi pa ito yung answer natin. Kasi yung pinapahanap sa atin ay yung bigger number. ba Yung x natin siya yung smaller number. Ngayon, para makuha si bigger number, isa-substitute lang natin tong 12 doon sa x, di x dito sa bigger number. So, x plus 1 equals bigger number. So, palitan lang natin si x ng 12. So, 12 plus 1 that is 13. So, yung sagot natin dito ay 13. Yung 13, ito yung bigger number na pinapahanap dito. Okay? So, hanggang dito na lang yung video lesson natin. Sana meron kayo natutunan. So, hanggang sa muli, paalam!